Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up four basic scenes in OBS Studio. Now, I spoke about this in the introduction, but I wanna recap. These are the four scenes that we're gonna set up. So here at the top left, you have a scene with just the webcam. Then at the top right, the webcam and an image overlay with a lower third. And then at the bottom left, we're gonna have just the browser window. And at the bottom right, we're gonna have the browser window and a webcam and we'll put that at the, the lower right corner. So let's jump into OBS right now and make this happen. All right, I'm inside OBS Studio right now and I'm gonna start adding my scenes. Now I already have one scene here, but it doesn't have any sources. So the webcam is the scene and I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call this webcam only. All right, so now I'm gonna add a source and that's gonna be a video capture device because I want it to be my webcam. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call it webcam, click on okay. And then I'm gonna select my webcam, which is my HD Pro Webcam C920. There you have it, my webcam has been added. I'm gonna click on OK. And all right, scene number one is already set. My webcam is here, and now I'm ready to add another scene. Okay, let's do that now. I'm gonna add a second scene. I'm gonna call this webcam plus lower third. And then I'm gonna click on OK. All right, let's add our scenes. I'm gonna click on plus, I'm gonna do a video capture device, and I'm gonna add an existing because I've already added my webcam as a source. So I'm gonna select that and click on okay. There we have it, I have my webcam, and now I wanna add a lower third. So I'm gonna add an image. So let's go down here once more, and I'm gonna click on plus, and then I'm gonna add an image. Now I'm gonna add this image and call it lower third. And then I'm gonna click on okay. It's gonna ask me what image I wanna add. So I'm gonna click on browse to find the image. Now I know I have one here in my Facebook Live folder. I have a bunch of lower thirds. I'm gonna go with the ones with no shadow and I'm gonna go with number two. And then click on open. All right, so that's what that looks like. And I'm gonna click on okay. Now here's the thing, something strange, right? I'm not seeing that lower third, and maybe you might be thinking, why in the world is that? But then I see this red line that's going way off the screen over there, and that tells me that it's not centered, it's not taking up the screen. So I'm gonna right click on it, and then I'm gonna go to transform, and say fit to screen. Up oh, there you go. So now I have my lower third. My lower third says love the value, share the video, and you can see that right down here, all right? So if I wanna switch between just the webcam and the webcam with the lower third, I can easily do that. Now, you see how that could be really cool? I can say something like, hey, if you're loving the value of this video, go ahead and click on share so that you can share it with your friends. And that, you see, I had some trouble there. Um, <laughs> but you can click on that now and let them know that they can go ahead and share it. Now, I just had some trouble switching from one to the next. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a much easier way so that you don't have to try to find the click where to click while you are going live. I'm gonna show you how to do that with keyboard shortcuts. All right, so now let's add a browser window. I'm gonna go ahead and click on plus, and then I'm gonna call this my browser only, and click on okay. And now when I do that, I need to add a source. So I'm gonna go here and click on plus, and then I'm gonna say, let's go with a window capture. I'm gonna call this the browser and say okay, and it's gonna ask me which window. I'm gonna have to look here, and I see I have my become a blogger, start a blog, change the world. And once again, it's too big because of my high resolution window here. Uh, so I'm gonna come here and go to transform and fit it to screen. Now look at that. I have my webcam only, I have my webcam and lower third, and then I have my browser window. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I have to add one more. I wanna add my browser window with a webcam. So let's do that. I'm gonna say plus 
browser plus webcam. Select OK. And then I'm going to add some sources. The first source I'm going to add is my window. And I'm going to just select Add Existing. And let's say Add My Browser. I'm going to transform it again so that it fits the screen. And the next thing I'm going to do is now add my webcam. So let's add another one. And that's going to be a video capture device for my webcam. I'm going to add an existing, select webcam, and click on OK. Now here's the problem. This takes up the entire screen. Fortunately, it's very easy to move that around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the corner here, and I'm going to just drag it down. There you go. So it's dragged down. And then I could take this and put it wherever I want it to be. You can see it's snapping there, and it's a strong snap. I don't want that snap to be as strong. So what I'm going to do is come to Settings. And you may have remembered this from a previous video. I'm going to change this to the sensitivity to 10 and select Apply. Click Apply, and then click OK. So now I can move it a little closer. I can put that exactly where I want it to be. So now what I can do is easily switch between just the webcam, the webcam and the lower third, my browser window, oops, sorry, the browser only, and then the browser plus webcam. I have a lot of diversity in terms of what I can do now because I have these four basic scenes set up. All right, now the last thing I want to do is set up some shortcuts to make this easier because trying to click here between these and, you know, which one should I click and, and I want to get it precise, it can be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up some hotkeys. So I'm going to come down and click on settings. And when I do that, I'm going to go to the hotkeys. And now you can see I have these different ones that I can set from the webcam only to the webcam and lower third, etc., etc., etc. So what I'm going to do, I like to use command and numbers. So I'm going to say for the webcam only, command 1, webcam and lower third, command 2, command 3 for browser only, and command 4 for browser and webcam. Now, I have to click on apply for these settings to hold. So I'm going to go ahead and click on apply and then click on OK. Now it's really easy for me to switch from this to this, to this, to this, to this, 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 because I set those shortcuts. So if you want to make it easy, you can set up these hotkeys so that you can switch from one scene to the next without having to really mess around with your mouse or with your trackpad and all that good stuff. Or if you have like a little numeric keyboard or something of that sort, you can have that in your hand, not having to go here to my desktop, and I could easily switch with a device that's in my hand from one scene to the next to the next. So that's how you set up these four basic scenes and switch between them using OBS. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to go live on Facebook. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless. Oh, hey, really quick, before you leave, if you want to get access to my free OBS guide that will teach you everything you need to know about OBS Studio, you can do it in one of two ways. Number one, if you're in the U.S., just text the word OBS guide as one word to 44222. You can just take out your phone and do that. It's really simple. Or if you're not in the U.S. or you prefer to do it on your computer, go to becomeablogger.com slash OBS. When you sign up there, you're going to get my free guide and you're going to be able to get emails whenever I have something new and cool to share with you about building a blogging business. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, and of course, this is YouTube. You can subscribe. Go ahead. You know you want to. And of course, there's another video. Just click it. I'll be there waiting. Go ahead. Click it.